Every single person on the planet, I mean something by that. Free access, the sum of all human knowledge. Uh, so I'll go through each of these things very quickly, just to give you uh, some of the background thinking behind Wikipedia. I don't know if someone can give me some advice here. Okay, so what is Wikipedia? First uh, question I'd like to ask is, how many people here have used uh, Wikipedia? Okay, that's just to make sure you're awake. Nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, the real question is, how many people here have actually edited Wikipedia? So, oh, that's really good. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, sometimes I get uh, you know much lower uh, participation rates than that. Um, in general, I find that people who have just uh, use Wikipedia, so you just go to a search engine and you're looking for something, and you, uh, uh, you know, you go and you and you visit and, and read something. Uh, people may not have all the ideas about how it works and what the philosophy is behind Wikipedia. So the basic definition of Wikipedia is that Wikipedia is a freely licensed encyclopedia written by thousands of volunteers in many languages. Um, next slide. Am I just going to have to call it out because this doesn't seem to do anything? Um, what is free access? So uh, that's one of the first questions. When I say free access to the sum of all human knowledge, or I say Wikipedia is freely licensed, what this means is that all of our work, everything that we put into Wikipedia, uh, we try to make sure that it's available uh, freely under a free license, meaning that you're allowed to copy it, to modify it, to redistribute it, to redistribute modified versions, and you can do all of those things commercially or non-commercially. Uh, you'll recognize this set of uh, principles from the free software movement, or as many people know it, open source software. Uh, the idea here is that when people are contributing to Wikipedia, they aren't just contributing to this one humanitarian project, they're contributing to a storehouse of knowledge that can be reused and repurposed for all kinds of things. So this gives rise to all sorts of interesting projects all around the world. There's a group uh, in Argentina, uh, Python programmers, who created an offline version of Spanish language Wikipedia, uh, so that it can be distributed by an educational foundation to schools in rural areas where they either don't have internet access or the internet is too expensive uh, for the children to use. These kinds of projects go on all the time. People do all kinds of interesting things with the data from Wikipedia, and they don't really need to come and ask us for our permission. They just uh, they can do these things because everything in Wikipedia uh, is freely licensed. What do I mean when I say the sum of all human knowledge? What this means is that it's really a, basically a definition of what Wikipedia is not. Wikipedia is not an open free speech platform. Wikipedia is not a blogging platform. Uh, Wikipedia is not a textbook or a library. Uh, Wikipedia is not YouTube, uh, as much as I love a funny cat video. Uh, uh, they don't belong in Wikipedia. There are lots and lots of things that don't belong in Wikipedia. Uh, and this has been one of the keys for our community and one of the ways that we've enabled such a large number of people to work together is that everybody has a good, clear idea of what belongs in an encyclopedia. And this helps us to settle a lot of editorial disputes uh, because we know what an uh, encyclopedia article should look like at the end of the day. So this community's come together uh, in the past 12 years. Uh, we've created 26 million articles across 285 different languages. Uh, now, the, uh, gosh, the tweet's up there, I can't look. It's distracting me. I don't want to know what you're saying behind my back. Um, 285 languages is, is uh, you know, one official number for how many sites we have set up. But I actually think uh, this book is mostly very, very good. It's something I'm very um, happy about. Uh, one of my favorite examples is a few years back when uh, there had been elections in Iran. Uh, the opposition was protesting the results of the elections. Uh, there was a lot of unrest. There were riots. Some people were killed. Um, and so I was wondering, well, how, how does the Farsi language Wikipedia report on this? Uh, you know, is the local language... And I wasn't so concerned. People say, are, are you concerned that sort of fundamentalists or, uh, you know, the government agents will take over Wikipedia? In this particular case, I say, no, actually, I was more concerned about the opposite, that the young, internet-savvy democracy activists would have hijacked Wikipedia to make it very biased in their favor. Um, uh, which uh, is something we, we don't want. We don't want bias of any kind. And so I had a friend who's fluent in Farsi and English go through and translate that their entry about the election uh, into English. Now, of course, translating is difficult. It's hard to capture nuance and so forth. But she told me that it was very easy, actually, because, as is typical for Wikipedia, it was written in a very matter-of-fact style without a lot of colorful language. 
Um, and it turns out that the entry was very good. It basically just gave the facts. It said there's been an election and the opposition has protested and this has happened and that has happened and the government has responded thus and such and so on. And I was very proud to see that because this is a part of the world where the media can be uh, quite unbalanced, uh, quite loose with the facts and so forth. And they were integrating sources, not only domestic sources from Iran, but sources from around the world to give a well-rounded picture of what was going on. And I thought that was a really good and, and very heartening thing. So when we look across different languages, which is very hard to do because, uh, you know, some people speak three languages, four languages, maybe five, but beyond that, you can't compare very easily across 200 languages, particularly when you're asking something as subjective as, is it biased or not? But in general, the reports from people who do pairwise uh, comparisons is that it's very similar across all languages. Now, what isn't similar, uh, to some extent anyway, is what's popular, what's popular to read about. So we did this little study uh, looking at uh, categorizing articles into very broad categories, looking at the most popular entries. So what's the most popular things to read? Uh, the languages here, we have uh, English, Chinese, Japanese, French, German, Russian, and Spanish. Uh, and these are the sort of what's popular. So one of the first things that pops out of people is unique visitors. Uh, so it's an enormous uh, number of people. Uh, it puts us in, uh, you know, typically we're ranked uh, number five in the world amongst all websites. Uh, and so what this means is that we feel that we have a very big uh, responsibility. And it raises the question, who are the Wikipedians? Uh, why do we want to know who the Wikipedians are? Well, this is one reason why. Uh, this is a, a, from Twitter. A woman said, yesterday I asked one of my students if she knew what an encyclopedia is. And she said, is it something like Wikipedia? Uh -huh. um, and so I want you to stop and think about this for a moment. Wikipedia is now 12 years old. Uh, so now if you think about a student who is uh, 15 or 16 years old, so a teenager, uh, Wikipedia has existed for the entire time since they've learned how to read. It's always been there since they've started to read. And certainly in the last five years, which would be the time period when uh, they would start really going to the internet to, to do homework or to learn about something they were interested in, uh, say from 11, 12 onward, uh, Wikipedia has been huge and ubiquitous. So there is a whole generation coming up next who, they're the Wikipedia generation. They've grown up with it. Uh, it's part of the infrastructure of the world. It's where they go for a huge amount of their knowledge. And so it's very important to think about, well, who's writing all this? Who are the Wikipedians? So we've got some statistics, um, which we'll get to if I can get quicker work. So by the numbers, um, we're about 87% male. Uh, this is something that we really want to change. Uh, we think there are a few reasons for this. Um, so some of the reasons are beyond our control. Uh, simply because in many sort of intellectual activities it's dominated by men for deeper cultural reasons uh, that I think are changing uh, over the years, but it's a, that's a longer, slower process. Uh, the other thing, and I'm always very careful how I say this, um, is that it's very technically challenging in many cases to edit Wikipedia. When you click on edit, it's one of the big uh, struggles we have in Wikipedia. So uh, to answer the, the sort of the basic question first, uh, no, we won't create a space for businesses to promote themselves in Wikipedia. Uh, that's not really what an encyclopedia is for. Now, having said that, uh, we welcome the participation of business uh, if they participate in the appropriate way. So people who turn up at Wikipedia and say, oh, this is great, it's a very popular website, I'm going to use it to promote myself, uh, you're going to be doing the wrong things. You're not going to be writing in a neutral manner, you're not going to be participating in appropriate ways. Uh, what we ask people to do is be very transparent, say who you are. I'm with uh, such and such a company, uh, this is what uh, we do. Um, if you've got an entry in Wikipedia and you think it has an error, um, treat us with respect. Tell us what the error is, tell us who you are, uh, send an email in. Uh, I always say, uh, you know, if, if, if you saw an error about your company uh, in the New York Times, uh, you wouldn't try to hack into the New York Times servers, or you wouldn't send people pretending to be members of the general public. You would approach them and say, hey, there's an error. Uh, we think there's a problem. We'd like to talk to you. And, and we do. We very much welcome that, because we don't want any errors in Wikipedia. Um, I would say, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the big struggles is uh, people who are advocates for something, not just businesses, but for all kinds of things, uh, come into Wikipedia with uh, bad motives. 
Their motive is not about sharing knowledge with the world and making sure everything is neutral. Their motive is to push a particular agenda. Uh, that doesn't really suit our community very well. We find it um, annoying. So uh, that's, that's the basic answer. So we welcome participation, but it has to be respectful and in the, in the appropriate context.